Disc herniations, I think, are one of the big problems in medicine and certainly in orthopedics these days. You have a population that does sit a lot and that's a risk factor for disc herniations. My name is Brian Bast and I am a physiatrist at Coastal Orthopedics, Ortho, Connecticut. My specialty training is in what's called physical medicine and rehabilitation, or PM&R and sports medicine. You have these shock absorbers that go throughout the spine. They have a jelly inside of them and an outer rind that keeps the gel in. Some of the gel gets out. It can either locally be a problem where people will get a lot of pain when they cough or sneeze and it stays right in their back. Uh, the disc can pull back over time and people do better. The trouble is that they tend to last for months and so I think there's a big uncertainty about how people progress or do I do bed rest or do I really shut down. Trying to get people up and about through physical therapy is really huge. Just to get them moving, to know what they can and can't do. Certain things are gonna to be tougher on your back than others. And if the disc is so big that a good portion of the nerve is compromised, sometimes surgery is used to relieve pressure on the nerve. But most of the time, people will have tried conservative care for weeks or months before they get to that point. I think it tends to be very personable, and I think I've always enjoyed speaking with people. Physiatry in general is a, a field that not as many people know as much about, but there is very much a focus on return to function and education, and so I think that played to my, my interest in anatomy.